Hi, third grade. We are here with a new shared read lesson. The title of this shared read is Irma Wrangle, Texas Lawmaker. For this lesson, you will need your new Unit 5 Reader's Writer's Companion book and a pencil. Then, open up to page 2. If you need more time to gather your materials, just pause the video and press play again when you're ready to get started. The genre of this text is narrative nonfiction biography. The word biography has two word parts. You have the word part bio and the word part graphy. The word part bio is a root word which means life. And the word part graphy is a word part that means writing. So a biography is a writing about life. Biographies are nonfiction, which means that they're writings about life that are true. So biographies are writings about a person's life that has actually happened. Now, it's important to know that a biography is not written by the person that the text is about. So in this case, the story is about Irma Rangel, but it's not written by Irma Rangel. There's an author that is writing about her. If this text was written by Irma Rangel about herself, that would be called an autobiography. Let's take a listen to the summary to learn more about this nonfiction biography. Irma Rangel, Texas Lawmaker. This story is a biography. Irma Rangel was born in Texas. She lived there all her life. Her parents taught her to be a hard worker and a good citizen. Irma studied law in college and worked for the government after graduating. She used her knowledge and skills to help others. She became the first Hispanic woman to serve in the Texas House of Representatives. Throughout her career, Irma worked to improve the lives of people in need. Irma Rangel, legisladora de Texas. Esta historia es una biografía. Irma Rangel nació en Texas. Ha vivido ahí toda su vida. Sus padres le enseñaron a ser trabajadora y buena ciudadana. Irma estudió leyes en la universidad y trabajó para el gobierno después de graduarse. Utilizó sus conocimientos y habilidades para ayudar a otras personas. Fue la primera mujer hispana que sirvió en la Cámara de Representantes de Texas. Durante toda su carrera, Irma trabajó para mejorar las vidas de las personas necesitadas. Now let's check out the essential question. What do good citizens do? Read how Irma Rangel's actions helped many people. Let's begin reading our text. Born in Kingsville, Texas, in 1931, Irma Rangel learned about overcoming obstacles by watching her parents. When she grew up, she used what she learned to help others. Overcoming obstacles. Irma's parents never had it easy. Her father lost his parents when he was just five years old. Her mother lost hers when she was 11 years old. They faced unfairness. As Mexican Americans, they were not allowed to go to certain schools. They were also very poor and had to work instead of getting an education. But they kept a positive attitude, worked hard, and improved their lives. Irma's mother opened her own dress shop. Her father opened his own barber shop. Irma's mother had a lot of memories of her father. In the late 1940s, a plot of land that she remembered him farming went up for sale. Irma's parents decided to buy it. The neighbors didn't want a Mexican-American family moving in, but Irma's parents did not waver. They bought the land and built a beautiful house. Eventually, they were accepted. Caption. Irma's parents built a beautiful home on an empty plot of land. In 1951, they moved in and lived there with Irma the rest of their lives. Now we're ready to ask and answer questions. 
Our first question focuses on paragraphs one and two. This one's on author's point of view. It says, underline text that shows what the author thinks about how Irma's parents grew up. We read that Irma's parents' lives were hard. In fact, in the first paragraph, it says Irma learned about overcoming obstacles by watching her parents. Then in the second paragraph, it talks about how they both lost their parents when they were very young and that they were also treated unfairly because they were Mexican-Americans. There are a couple different sentences that show me what the author thinks about how Irma grew up. The first is here in the first paragraph, where it says, Irma learned about overcoming obstacles by watching her parents. Let's underline that sentence. The other sentence that I would like to underline is this one, where it says, Irma's parents never had it easy. Then the last sentence I want to underline is this one where it says, they faced unfairness. These three sentences that we underlined show the author's point of view of how Irma's parents grew up. The next question focuses on paragraphs three and four. This one's on ask and answer questions. It asks, what question can you ask and answer about Irma's parents? Well, a question that we might have is, how did Irma's parents succeed? Let's write that question on the line. What did Irma's parents do to succeed? Go ahead and write that question on the line. Next, we have to circle text evidence that helps us to answer the question. In this third paragraph, the first sentence says, they kept a positive attitude, worked hard, and improved their lives. So I'm going to circle kept a positive attitude and worked hard to answer the question. That's what they did to succeed. The next question is on captions. It says, draw a box around something new you learned in the caption. Let's reread the caption. It says, Irma's parents built a beautiful home on an empty plot of land. In 1951, they moved in and lived there with Irma the rest of their lives. The first sentence talks about how Irma's parents built a home on a plot of land, and we did learn that in this fourth paragraph. But this sentence gives us new information, because this is the first time that we're learning that they moved in in 1951 and lived there with Irma for the rest of their lives. So this whole sentence needs to be boxed in. All right, boys and girls, we are going to pause here for today and finish the rest of the story tomorrow. So far, we've learned a lot of interesting things about the beginning of Irma Wrangle's life. Tomorrow, when we read the second half of the story, we'll learn more about Irma Wrangle's adult life. Thanks for watching and learning with me today. And don't forget to check back tomorrow for part two of Irma Wrangle, Texas Lawmaker. Bye for now.